in this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called color uh, sort colors. So basically, the goal for this question is that we're given an integer array, which only contains 0, 1, 2, uh, right? So there are three types of numbers, 0, 1, and 2. We want to sort the array in ascending order. So we want to do this problem in a linear time complexity, and the space complexity is going to be constant. So to solve this problem, uh, we're only going to use a two pointers. Uh, because this way we can be able to bring time complexity down to a linear rather than using um, sorting algorithm or anything. So to do this using two pointers, we're basically going to have three pointers. So one pointer is going to be pointing at the left, right? Uh, which basically is there to trying to point to a, um, a left element. And the right pointer is going to point to the very right. So we have a right pointer here, the left pointer right there. So we're going to have a current pointer, which is going to be right here, starting from the left to the right. So the goal is, while the current pointer is less than the, the right pointer, we're going to continue to uh, iterate our current pointer, right? So basically, the idea is this. We're going to see if the left pointer, in this case, our current pointer is pointing to a, a 2. If we have an element, if the current pointer is pointing to a 2, then we're going to swap it with our right pointer, right? So the right pointer is there to basically uh, swap it, uh, is, is basically there to, to take the 2. So in this case, we're going to swap it with our right pointer. So now we have one, zero, and two, right? So we're gonna move the right pointer one to the one to the left, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, uh, see if the current element is one. So if it's one, we're gonna move the current pointer one to the right. And then we're gonna see if the current pointer is zero. If it's po pointing to zero, then we're gonna swap our current pointer with our left pointer. So now we have uh, one here and zero here. And then we're going to move our right pointer, our current pointer, one to the right. Now our job is done because our current pointer is bigger than the right pointer. So therefore, our, our array is sorted, right? So here you can see we have another example, right? So we have two zero two one one zero. Uh, this the same example here. So same thing. We're just going to sort the array uh, using two pointers. So we have a left pointer and the right pointer and the current pointer. So in this case, the current pointer is pointing to a two. We're going to swap it with our right pointer so that the right pointer is going to point to a 2 and the left pointer is going to point to a 0, right? In this case, uh, then we're going to move our right pointer 1 to our one to the left. Then we get a, uh, a 1, right? So in this case, if it's a 1, uh, we are going to... Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the current pointer, which is pointing to a 0. So we're going to swap it with our left and we both move the left and the right, uh, move left and the current pointer one to the right. Now this is also zero. Uh, in this case, we swap it with our left, and then we move both of them one to the right. And then we have two. So two is in this case, we're going to swap it with our right pointer. So this is a two. And now this is one. And uh, we're going to move the the right pointer one to the one to the left. And then we know that this is one, so in this case, we're going to move our right pointer, our current pointer, one to the right. So if it's one, we're going to move the right point, uh, current pointer, one to the right, right. And then if this is still a one, we're going to move, continue to move the right point, our uh, current pointer, one to the right. Okay. So that's the other example. And now let's take a look at another example, which is this one right here. So in this case, we still we use the same technique, and uh, we're going to have our current pointer move to a non one element, in this case, it's going to be two. So we have two here. So two is going to swap it with our right pointer. So now we have two here, and then this is going to be zero. Uh, and then we're going to move our right pointer one to the left. We're not moving uh, the current pointer. We're just going to stay there. And uh, the right pointer is going to point to zero, and then we have zero here. So zero, swap it with our left. So now we have zero here, and then this is one, right? And then we're going to move both left and the current one to the right. This is a two to swap it with our right pointer. And then the right is going to move one to the left. And currently zero, zero, we're going to want to make sure we swap it with our, our, uh, our left. So in this case, this is zero, this is going to be one. And then we move both the left and the right, uh, left and the current one to the right. Now we have our current pointer is uh, bigger than the, the right pointer, we, our job is done. So pretty much this is how we solve this sort colors problem uh, using two pointers. Now let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So first we're gonna define um, define our pointers, right? So define our pointers. So once we define our pointers, we're just going to iterate 
Um, so while the the right pointer um, is or the current pointer is less than the right less than or equal to the right pointer, and uh, we're going to do the following. So first, we're going to see right. Um, we're going to see if the current element is equal to two. If it's equal to two, then we're going to make sure we swap it with our right. If it's equal to zero, we just going to swap it with our left. Um, and then we want to make sure if we swap it with our right, we just bring the right pointer one, uh, one to the left. If we swap it with our, uh, our, uh, our left, we want to make sure we bring the left and the current pointer one to the right. And, uh, if it's one, we want just, we will just get the current pointer one to the right, right? So pretty simple, we're gonna define our, our pointers. So left is equal to zero, right is equal to n, and the uh, current is going to equal to zero. So in this case, n is equal to nonce.length. So we're gonna say while current is less than or equal to right. Okay, so we're going to um, see if nums, nums at current, right? So nums at current uh, is equal to a two, right? So if it's equal to two, then we're going to get uh, nums at right is equal to nums at current, but we're, we're basically swapping, right? So if we were to swap, let's create a method um, called swap which takes the array as well as the current pointer and the desired pointer, right? Then we're gonna move the the right pointer one to the left, okay? And then else, uh, if we have nums that current is equal to one, right? We can just get our current increased by one. Otherwise, if we have the current element is equal to zero, we're gonna make sure we swap. So we swap uh, the array the currents and the left. Okay, so and then we're gonna bring the left plus plus and the current plus plus as well. So let's try to implement this swap method. I think it's pretty easy. We have a void method um, called swap, which takes the array nums, integer currents, integer r, right? Or sorry, the, the point uh, in this case p1, p2, let's call it p1, p2. So in this case, we're going to say temp is equal to nums at p1, right? And the uh, nums at p1 is equal to nums at p2. And nums at p2, which is going to equal to temp. So this is basically how we swap um, elements in the array. So once we swap the array, uh, we're going to continue to do that until we get the entire array sorted. So now let's try to run the code. Um, Okay, so n minus one shouldn't be n. It should be n minus one. So now let's try to run our code and uh, run a few more examples and try to submit. So here you can see this is how we solve the sort colors problem in on the code.